Any day in the gym's a good day. Pre-workout, I slam a protein shake and then either two bananas or a bagel with some sugar-free jelly on it. A lot of people work out fasted. I've tried it before and that's just, that's just not for me. I gotta have something going on. Uh, I have done four shows. I did two my first year. It was just a, a bucket list item that I wanted to do. And uh, did two that year, skipped a year. Came back and did a year with John Mark. Did one, we did, we did the, uh, the clash at the Capstone in Tuscaloosa. Came in really, really well. I was really pleased with, with the package that we brought. And um, took a, I don't know, if, I can't remember if it was a year off again or, or did another one. And then uh, just this past September, we did the uh, Beach Bash in Orange Beach. It, it's a lot to do. Um, so my wife has requested that I take a year off and uh, and not put her through it too because you know it just being honest dude i don't see how people do it without the support uh, of their of their of their spouse and I, i'm i'm blessed gina is behind me every step of the way meal preps for me with me um she gets up with me at 3 15 we're at we're both at the gym she's in here right now um so it's just you know it, it it's good for us to be together <clears throat> presentation it's like it's fun being a part of a small part of what John Mark's doing here there were many days when it was me John Mark and, and the one person he was training we were the only three maybe another fourth person in the gym and that was it right. that was it there was nobody else and now you pull up at four o'clock in the morning, four thirty, and it's, uh, the parking lot's full. You know, it's uh, what a change it's made. January will be two years that, that he's done this, and he's just—you would not recognize this place if you had seen it the way, it the way it used to be when it was snapped. I played baseball in high school. Was not the most athletic kid on the team. I was decent. My daughters were very athletic. I'm guessing they got that gene from their mom. Like I said, I played at a few sports, but my daughters were really good. Livia was a really good volleyball player. Mallory was really good softball and, and basketball. We played tournament softball for eight years. And, uh, and she, was, she, she was really good. <sighs> it's hard to do a leg day with a syndrome and then go to work. Oh, gosh. And he can't count. <laughs> I, I can tell you, Sidro cannot count. We're gonna do 10 or 12 reps, we would get to 12, and he's like, four more, four more. He can't count. Yes, Woo. split those sleeves. <laughs> Had a business fall into my lap that I wasn't really looking for. It's it's been good, it's been been good for me and my family. Flexible. I was able to work my schedule around school schedules and sports and activities and stuff. So it, it's been really good. I'll never be able to work for anybody else now. Bought my business. Had two big commercial accounts that came with it. I was with UPS and uh, with an auto glass business and went from that to two weeks later I was in the landscaping business and I had never really done it so when I bought my business the equipment that I had I had never used it before I mean the zero turn mowers and the and the big mowers and stuff so uh, I was the softball coach at University Christian at the time and uh, I actually took all of my equipment to the softball field and learned how to use my equipment on the softball field that's how I that's how I got into the business and learned how to do it. You know, I tell you, I felt like an idiot. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sure I messed some stuff up, but uh, it, it's been good. It's been good. When I was, when I first got into it, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. So I rode past a place up here on Grants Ferry Road. Grass was a little tall. It was a business, so I walked in, got the guy's number. I called him and I explained to him. I said, "Hey, I'm I'm, I'm a landscaper." He didn't know any different. And uh, when when I told him what I was doing, he said. Man, I'm glad you called me. He said, my guy has, has, has disappeared. I said, he said, I need you to talk to, I need to talk to you about um, my place, my daughter's place, my businesses, 
um, can, can I meet you somewhere? So he came over about an hour later and um, it's been nothing but great things since. He's a, he has been my number one customer and, and my, probably one of my biggest fans since, since I started. And he is a really good guy and he played a, a key role in me being successful in, in what I'm doing now. That's a wrap.